Okay, we continue with our little house. So this is one piece of origami paper. We fold it in first. This is hamburger fold, hot dog fold, and then we fold in again. This, let's say this is um, hamburger fold, and another time fold in, and this one fold in. So right touch the middle, what we now do right now, this one, we will open it up. I always have trouble to open this one up. This one you... And... From half, okay. And this one you touch here to here it is not so easy voila like this and this one touch this point to this point this way it can be opened up like this make sure this one goes in a little bit so that it does not show up the white we do not want to show up too much of the white. Let's see if it works well. No, not so well. Not in a rush. Be patient. Okay, that's good. So this is a little house already. This is a two floors building, I think. And we want to make it one floor building, so we will hide this one inside. Inside here. You can put some glue on it, it's nothing wrong with it. And then we will draw a door. Later I will use some glue. This one is a door with a doorknob. And this one has... A window, that's a building, that's a small house, does it look like a small house? Voila, now we will look for another project. This project is the train and a dog, a flower, a boat. That looks interesting. This one looks very interesting and it needs two pieces of paper. We will have a pink flower. This is a tulip. A tulip, so tackle fold one, open up, tackle fold two, so you have two tackles, and from top reach to, oh no, you have to turn it over and this way. Voila. Turn it over this way and fold another time. Make sure the paper is touching together. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Okay. Now we are good. We are almost good. paper is not touching to voila this way is good okay we are doing this and now we open it up 
and open to here no open to this bottom line and this one lift up okay and this one bend it down okay and this one pull in what do we do with the other one we will do the same thing this one down parallel is this line so we have three white one two three four three pink actually this one it's a two complete and two half pink so that's the tulip and this one we raise up that is the tulip now we will do the stalk it's actually prettier to to make oh no you have to do this way now we will do the stalk the stalk needs to be green color so a piece of uh, green paper taco fold open up another taco fold and then this one right in the half one and two and then let's see and uh, one raise up this one raise up now it becomes like this turn it over that's the stalk that's the tulip put them together it's a tulip it's actually I should use a larger green paper and use a smaller uh, pink paper if I have a green paper I do see how this works. Okay, so the same method I will do one, two, This is better. This is better. Does it look better? I think you need a larger green paper. Actually, let me see if I can make it thinner, prettier. This stalk, make it thinner. This leaf, make it larger. This, make it thinner. Let's make it larger. I think I can design it even better than the book. I think so. Yes, this one is better. You glue it. Now it's a tulip. Looks pretty. Use glue stick to like it. Tulip. Let me see what else I can find. That is easy enough to play. 
play around. <clears throat> Another one, tulip, easy origami, tulip, and then turtle. And this one is a bird. This is a little bit too exaggerating the bird. And uh, what color of bird do we have? We have a pink bird, how about it? Okay, so the first one we do one taco fold and then we will do another fold into it. Oh no, here. Another fold. Open up, open up, one open up, another one do not open up, and uh, then, and then this one should bend back, okay, bend back, yes. Like this, and turn it over. This is a bird. It's quite, uh, it's quite hard for me to imagine, but uh, the bird's eye and bird pick, pick. It look like a bird. For me, it's hard to imagine, but they say it's a bird. Just okay. I have no argument with that. If you think that's a bird, that's a bird. I'm okay with that. I will not fight for if it is a bird or not a bird. It's somebody harsh, but to façon. That looks a pretty one, a little sharp. The sharp is the same as a little chick and uh, a carnation and fish. Let me do this flower too. Oh, this is little house. Hall, house of corner. Okay, I like this one. So we have a house of Connor. Oh, okay. So you have one piece of paper, and I use darker paper for you, easy to see. This one is a hot dog fold or hamburger fold because it's just a square, not much difference. Another fold like this. Open it up and then bend in in the middle. And this one, we can, you have to fold it to the back, and I do not like to fold to the back, I will do this way, fold to the back, and this one also fold to the back. What do we see here? Here we have a view. A house. This is an elegant house, but uh, but uh, the origami guide does not seem happy to be with that house. So I will bend in. and actually push this one in. Okay, push this one in. Push 
it in. It's kind of not easy, but if you know how to do, you know how to. And then you open it up. Then it becomes like this. This is the house on the corner. Ha, oh, that's cool. I love it. Okay, what do we do here? On this side, we will do a door with a doorknob and a little window. And on this side, we will do two windows. One, two. Okay, so this is a little house. Can you see the little house? Here. Oh, it's cute. Love it. This is very smart. Oh, it's on the corner, corner street. Good. That's a cool one. And uh, maybe I should do another to go parallel with this one, right? Another one here. Oh yes, where is my other house? Here's a little house here, but this one does not stand. Let me see if I can let it stand. Let it stand like this. Oh, it's okay. Do not bother about it. And there is another... A snake. A flower. Okay, we have done the tulip. Now we will do a flower. This one I like. Yes. A flower. So first, it's a kind of a tulip flower. We will do a red flower. Do we still have red? Yes, we still have red. Okay, the red color. And we first do a taco fold and the face. Facing it, the, f uh, the face, the, the, the color is facing us, taco fold, and then this one goes to the middle. On the other side, it goes to the middle, also to the middle. Okay. Middle. Okay, so we have a house here and goes down one. This one goes down. So this line goes touching this line. Okay, and now we will lift this one up. This one up to the top. And then open it. And uh, then a little bit higher uh oh I cannot figure oh no 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 this way oh yeah I have to turn it back sorry turn it back and then to the top I forgot to turn it back to the top and going down like this and uh, gosh this one no this one is not possible Fold in the dotted line. No, I cannot fold in the dotted line.
fold to make crease and fold back. Fold to make crease and fold back. Definitely is not for elementary. Yeah, like this. And uh, this is a flower, and this one goes down. Why do we even bother to make it like this? Let me see if we do not make it like this. Just however it... Oh yeah, this one is too... too wide. Yeah, it's not pretty. Okay, kind of makes sense. Yeah. So this is a flower stem, supposed to be the flower stem. Gosh. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I'm not doing it. flower branch or stalk. Let's see how we do the leaves. Okay, taco fold. Open up another one. together. Oh, this one is a little bit too big, but roughly this is what it is supposed to be. <laughs> okay. Thank you, friends. Bye-bye.